um, really be aware of where your thoughts are going and what you really want in your life. It's very important because your thoughts are so powerful. Your mind is super powerful. And if you find that you're getting blocked, maybe there's just something there that you haven't worked through in your personal life that needs healing, you know, um, for you in order to believe that these things can flow into your life. Thank you, King Goku. Thank you so much. Oh, the window guy. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Well, hello to your daughter, Erin. That's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, King Goku. Agree a hundred percent on a real note. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I like to reiterate that like every human is worthy of, uh, a good life, even though some aren't handed that card, it seems if you do have the privilege of like living in the modern world and being able to have your own apartment and, you know, have a roof over your head or a house or, you know, a car and friends and all that, like you're already winning in life. And even if it doesn't feel like it, just know that you are. And if your mental state is not allowing you to be grateful or allowing you to feel whole because of maybe circumstance, like maybe you're lonely, maybe your relationships are not working out, whatever it is, then it's really, uh, sleep is also very important. It's uh, really important to seek out that professional help to figure out what it is that's holding you back and keeping you at a, at a low negative point. I found that prior to sleeping, visualize your day tomorrow works. Yes. That's awesome, Rick. Yes, absolutely. So a really good time to meditate and visualize, um, visualize your de your next day or visualize, um, something that you want in your life is right before you sleep because your subconscious like I said, it never turns off. It's working 24 seven. It's what keeps us alive when we fall asleep. It's what keeps our organs going, um, which means it's working, it's on. And so it's hearing everything. So even in a meditation, if you fall asleep, it's still hearing what you're asking for. It's still hearing that meditation. So, um, keep that in mind that it is very powerful to meditate right before you sleep. Do you feel like you've manifested most of the things you wanted out of life? Yes, I've manifested a lot of, um, a lot of great things for sure. Um, of course we, you know, as humans, there's always more, isn't there? Like we always want more, but, uh, yes, I have manifested some great stuff. I'm very grateful for, um, but of course, yes, there's stuff that hasn't necessarily shown up yet that I know will show up. Um, but it's not in the timing that I want. It's going to be in the timing that it's, that is up to higher, higher power or whatever you believe in is up to, it's not up to me. It's going to come. It's not up to you. That's just how it works. You know, um, things happen when you least expect it and it's unexplainable sometimes. It's just, you know, it's like when, <clears throat> it's like when you go through a breakup and you know, that person breaks your heart or whatever. And you, you are sitting in that shit for a while and it's rough and you go through every emotion and you can't function and it's just the worst. And then you get through it, right? You eventually get through it with time and you start living your best life and you start dating again and this and that. And then of course that person that broke your heart, they energetically feel that you've moved on. They feel that shift because we are all energy. We are all vibrating atoms. We are all connected especially if you've been intimate with someone, you're connected, deeply connected. You're connected for life. Your particles, when two particles meet, they're, they're connected for life, whether you see that person again or not. So that person has felt that, you know, an energy shift. They've felt that you've moved on. They've seen it on social media and they're like, oh my God, I need to go fuck some shit up. <laughs> or, oh my God, now I'm sitting in the shit. Oh my God, I made a mistake. Um, so that's just an example of how energy works, you know? Um, and, and proof that you can come out the other side of something, you know, and I'm not saying seek out revenge. I think send love to everybody that you've been with, whether they hurt you or not, because 
at some point you love that person and they served a purpose in your life, you know? Everything's a lesson or a blessing. <laughs> uh, hi, Steve, how are you? So, um, yeah, what about you, Matthew? Have you manifested some great stuff? Um, <clears throat> yes, Steve, definitely. So I've done this thing, like, instead of holding resentment towards anyone that's hurt me, I now, uh, I wrote on a piece of paper, the Ayaponopono, which is in a Hawaiian, like, uh, ritual. And next to each person, I wrote, um, I wrote, thank you, please forgive me. Oh, wait, <laughs> let me start again. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And I said it to every single person. Um, and I released that kind of resentment towards anybody that I had. And so now I'm just coming from a place of love. And so whether that person st comes back into my life or not, I don't hold any resentment towards that person anymore because you know, we're all just trying to make it in this world, aren't we? And sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we're just not in alignment with people. Sometimes we just have gone off track in our lives and we don't know what the hell's going on and, or we don't know how to treat people right because we don't do the work on ourselves. And, but at the end of the day, we all just want to love and be loved. So, um, send those people love like try it even if you're like fuck no that person like ripped my heart out are you kidding me try and send them love be like okay well like i'm not with them anymore which means they've set me free to find someone that will treat me right or give me the love i deserve um and so i need to send that person energetic love because they obviously didn't feel love within themselves. Not, not that you didn't give them love, that they didn't love themselves. They didn't have enough love within themselves and they didn't know how to navigate love with anybody else. And so send them the energetic love and then you can get on with your own life, you know. You're a big on manifesting. That's awesome, Matthew. And guys, if you wouldn't mind, keep giving me some likes. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Supports me as a creator. Have you ever been lucky enough to meet a soulmate? Yes, I have, Steve. I have. Um, oh, hi, Michael. How are you? Hey, Giovanni. So good to see you guys. You know, sometimes you meet people in your life and they may not be giving you everything that maybe you're looking for in a partner. But I don't know about you guys. Have you ever met someone where you're like, oh, yeah, this person is going to be in my life. Yeah, they're in my life. Like where you just completely the chemistry's there. You're completely connected to them no matter what the, the circumstance, right? Um, even friendship. So it's like, yes. Um, so as far as relationships, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't talk about my personal stuff on here. Um, just for the sake, like if I am dating someone, it, I don't want people knowing their business and I just am private in that way. Um, I just like to keep myself, you know, keep part of my life that way. I think it's easier. <laughs> Um, but I have to answer your questions. I have had some very, uh, wonderful relationships. Um, I've also had some not so wonderful relationships, but I think that, um, yes, I am Australian, Matthew. Um, but I think that everything, uh, I think that everyone that comes into your life, there's a reason for them being there, that they teach you something, teach you what you want, teach you what you don't want, right? And vice versa, maybe I've taught them what they want or what they don't want. Um, but we all teach each other something and the good and the bad. So um, yeah, I think everybody has a, a purpose in each other's life and we're all kind of just helping each other along the way. Now, on the other hand, if you are attracting really unhealthy relationships that are just tearing you apart, then it is your job to recognize that because we all know we're not stupid, right? We're all adults. We know when something's good for us and when it's not good for us. When it's not good for you, that is a sign that something is unhealed in your life, that something from your past is unhealed.